So let's uh, talk a little bit about Nigeria's big story. The National Arts Theatre in Lagos was designed and constructed by a, by a Bulgarian construction company named Techno Expostroy. When it was completed in 1976, the National Theatre resembled the Palace of Culture and Sports in Varuna, Bulgaria in Eastern Europe. 44 years after, that National Theatre is a sorry picture of its former glory. But coming to the rescue is the Central Bank of Nigeria on behalf of the Bankers Committee, a body representing all Nigerian deposit money banks and the cost of the rescue package, about 64 million US dollars. That's about 25 billion naira in local currency. Let's chat to Herbert Wigwe, who is the Group Managing Director at Tier 1 Listed Bank, Access Bank, who's been part of the current process to resurrect the National Arts Theatre. Let's get this conversation going, of course, despite his busy schedules. We thank you very much this evening for coming through on the show, Herbert. Thank you very much, Basun. Thank you. So can we get down to the money side of the conversation? I love the whiff of money. So let's talk about it. How much will this redevelopment cost? Who is doing the spending? And what's the spending plan looking like? Also, it's, um, first of all, the entire banking community has basically come together um, to basically contribute what is going to be close to about 25 billion naira, and that money shall be used um, to basically help to regenerate um, the surroundings, to basically also provide a big facelift to the National Theatre, uh, to basically ensure that the entire infrastructure in that whole area is, is, is done. But it's not just about the banking community. Um, we're also partnering with Lagos State Government, our host government, and the federal government. Lagos State Government is going to support us as far as um, the dredging issues are concerned, to take um, all the water and ensure that the silting is done properly, to ensure that the entire urban rejuvenation around the whole of that area uh, is done properly together with the banks. So what is the source of this money? Uh, is it coming at an interest uh, 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 is at an interest with an interest rate, and how long will it be, uh, will it take to recoup it? I, I think the most important thing, Bosun, is to ask why are we doing it, and then we'll talk about whether there's any interest. There's no interest on this particular on this particular exposure. We're doing this thing for about five reasons. The first is that we need to restore our national heritage. The National Theatre um, is, whether you like, you believe it or not, one of the greatest and, and most iconic buildings anywhere in the world. And all we need to do is to lift it up to our, and restore our, our, our glory. The second thing is that this would help to provide employment to millions of Nigerians over the next five years, apart from those who are involved in construction and all of that. Think of the creative people and what it means from a skills enhancement standpoint. The third thing is that it is, again, a classic example of an urban regeneration ex exercise um, in line with, with, with some of the sustainability efforts of the central bank and what it does to the entire community around the Butimeta, lifting up the standard of living of people and all of that. So for us, it's about providing this money to make sure that these activities happen and can, the banks can, uh, you know, can essentially be paid back over the next 10 to 15 years. But it is not, we're not going to charge any interest on it. So who will become the final owners of the National Arts Theatre after its redevelopment? And how long will this redevelopment take? We are not taking the national assets. The asset belongs to the government. Let us make it very clear, okay? Um, over the next 18 to 24 months, all right, definitely the entire National Theatre would have been rehabilitated completely, completely. All right? And then some of the critical verticals, for instance, the fashion theater, the fashion center, the theaters, the IT hub, okay, and the music and the music hub would have been ready over the next 24 to 30 months. But the first quick win is for us to basically rehabilitate the national theater while we continue doing things like the dredging, working on the infrastructure, the road network. At the time this facility was built, uh, Nigeria did not have 200 million people. It did have 25 million people living in Lagos. So we need to basically ensure that the new infrastructure to support all of this can, can, can basically um, support the TV population that we have right now, uh, particularly in Lagos. Uh, what is the role of the Central Bank of Nigeria in this entire exercise, Herbert? The Central Bank is the anchor institution. It has championed this whole exercise, all right, and has basically been able to work and put together the entire consortium of banks together. All right, and has been at the forefront working with the Federal Ministry of, of Arts and Culture 
um, together with Lagos State government to make sure that this whole thing comes, comes, comes together. So they play the critical role of the anchor for this whole thing. Uh, you've been part of this uh, uh, a project, and I'm sure this goes all the way to the office of Mr. President. Yes. So, what's the thinking within the Ministry of Information and Culture and the Presidency about this project, uh, considering the fact that there have been efforts in the past to, in the past to privatize the National Theatre and that didn't work out? Well, so this must be one of the, one of the classic examples of, of, of public-private partnership. Um, we've received all the support you can, you can get from the Federal Ministry of Arts and Culture, as well as the Presidency. But like in all things, obviously, before we got to where we're going to, um, there were institutions that tried to make sure or basically came in the way, like in all things, and, and, and we're able to overcome those problems and make sure that we had an all-inclusive team to, to, to ensure that this thing comes to fruition. So um, all I've got to say is that um, all the parties that have been involved, uh, the staff right there of the, of, of the, of the Ministry of, um, of, of the National Theatre, uh, the staff of the Federal Ministry of Arts and Culture, um, Again, the support of Lagos State government cannot be underestimated, all right, in terms of making sure that the surroundings and helping to ensure that their joining lines to the National Theatre was also given and donated for this, for this specific endeavor. All the parties have worked very, very, very hard to make sure that we get to where we're going to get to. And I, I can assure you that in the next 24 months, definitely the, the National Theatre will be fully functional, but over 36 months, all the other verticals will be also um, working properly. Uh, is Lagos State part of the funding of this uh, project? Lagos State has a critical role. If you if you if you see the swampy part of the of, of the of the national theatre just outside, all right, and you see that that lagoon would normally have flown through. Lagos State is helping to ensure that that whole process works seamlessly, and all that part of the water meter uh, where the infrastructure is now uh, the big problem. They are making sure that they provide the right waterway required to take all of that thing uh, back into the ocean. So that provided a very critical role and the amount of money I cannot determine right now, but quite frankly, all right, it, it comes to a, a very handsome contribution in terms of making sure it works and, it, and that we have a seamless uh, process right through. Uh, thank you for clarifying this big story for us. How about Wigwe, the Group Managing Director at Access Bank PLC. We wish you folks all the best on this.